Well, it's nice and damp in the yard. The fields are wet. The corn is coming up. Life is good. Welcome to the Red River Valley of North Dakota. A land flowing with milk and honey. You're watching Beet Farmin' Mitch. Well, we're cleaning the planter out, cleaning the navy beans out, and getting them ready for pintos. Yeah. Well, so now we're putting the new seed plates in. These are the pinto plates. We just took the navy plates out. So both the planters are switched over to Pintos, greased up, fueled, and ready to go. So it's almost lunchtime, and I think I found a little surprise here. Mac salad and back fridge, boys. Please eat, take home. Check it out. All right, so we got our planters switched over from navy beans to Pinto beans. Fueled up, greased, ready to go. We're gonna run to town. We're gonna pick up some pinto bean seed and for our truck here and start working some ground and start putting some pinto beans in the ground. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we got a great rain this weekend. So we'll have some moisture to work with. So we're very happy about that. And looks like the truck's aired up. So let's hit it. Just pulling into the bean plant here and we're gonna get her loaded up. Yeah, and we're not sure what the deal is, but there's been a parasitic electrical draw on here somewhere, so we've been having to shut the batteries off for now. Truck keeps dying on us. All right, so we're gonna hop in our other triaxle here. Triaxle meaning one, two, three axles on the back. And so I was in that other triaxle just a few minutes ago and got the seed for that one. And we're gonna go pick up a different variety of pinto bean seed with this truck. 
So we'll have two triaxles with a different variety of bean seed in each and we got both our planters. We're probably gonna run both of our planters. I'm thinking the plan now is we're gonna get the this truck full of seed and then I'm gonna hop in the Harrow Packer. My brother Jason's out in the multi-leader right now doing a little bit of tillage. So we'll do that Harrow Pack and start planting some pinto beans. All right, so I just got to the bean plant here with our other triaxle. We're gonna get this one loaded up with seed as well and keep on going. So that first variety is windbreakers. Those are those ones that are a little bushier bean. They're a little lower to the ground. Good for cutting, they cut like butter. And then this variety is gonna be Monterey's. These ones are a little, they're kind of more bred for straight combining. They're a little taller. You can cut them as well, which will probably end up cutting them. It works. Uh, they're just a little tougher stem to, to knife through, but yeah. All right, so we got both seed trucks ready to rock and my middle brother Jason's out in the multi-weeder right now. The big one, 70 footer. And I'm gonna hop in the 340 with the 60 foot Harrow Packer on her. And we're gonna go start behind him. And then we're gonna plant behind this, so. You gotta have a salt shaker for your vegetables and you never, you never know. You know, you just gotta be, gotta be the salt of the earth, you know. It gives it flavor. And if you want to learn a little bit more about salt of the earth, well, my favorite book talks about being salt of the earth in Matthew chapter 5. And basically, Jesus is saying that the most ordinary people who follow him So I'm out field cultivating. We pretty, I pretty much just been hopping around doing field tillage and preparation and whatnot. Uh, they actually just, my brother Casey just started planting pinto beans this morning. We're going about an inch and a half deep on those. They've been able to find moisture there, no problem. And there is moisture here, no problem as well. So that's always good to see. And I love working in this field because there's these nice shelter belts here. These are cottonwood trees. So it's a pain if there's a windstorm and they break and you gotta pick sticks a lot, but they're very good for wind protection. And it's kind of fun to be in there. It looks, it feels like I'm in a garden, you know? So that's, it's just a glimmer of the beauty of being outside for work. I love it. Oh, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, but we don't have the coil packer hooked up behind this thing. Since it's a little damper, if you run that thing behind freshly tilled soil when it's wet, that thing will plug up and it won't be good. This field cultivator is working really nice here. It's doing a nice job mixing our herbicide and fertilizer in. And there's quite a bit of weeds, especially around the tree rows on this piece. So hopefully we deal with some of that and get some nice pinto beans growing here. This is a really nice piece of ground and it usually serves us pretty well. So I just got to a field here where my older brother Casey is running at one of our planters. So we got them both going now. We're running this planter with a certain variety and our other planter with our other variety. And that's my brother Jason is in our cat challenger and monosem planter way down at our southernmost field right now. And then my brother Casey just right outside of town. So I think we should uh, send the old bird up and spy on him, huh? Make sure he's doing a good job. It is a new day. We finished planting 
Uh, we had 180 of navy beans that might have froze. I don't think we'll have to replant it, so I'm thankful for that. But we finished planting pinto beans and all of our crop. Just kind of busting the crust on a couple different fields here. Navy beans with the rotary hoe. Um, I don't know if we're going to do all of them. It doesn't look too bad. There's just a couple that, you know, maybe it would kind of help bust the crust a little bit and help the emergence some. Um, so that's kind of the purpose of this tool. But anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. I've had a lot of encouragement from people I know, some friends and family and things like that. Uh, and it means a lot to me that you guys have watched that and been such a positive encouragement. Um, and so I really appreciate that. And so my hope is that you can be entertained with these videos and appreciate agriculture and farming and maybe learn a thing or two and you know, just kind of have fun with it. So thank you for joining me on this. And hey, if you've never met me and I don't know you, that's all right too. I appreciate you watching that, you're watching this video um, because I, I like that too. So anyway, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching and enjoy it. Some nice weather, we're on the cusp of summer. So go out and do some of your favorite outdoor activities and things like that. And, you know, I'm an attractive cab. I'm kind of outdoors, kind of indoors all day. So I like it, but anyway, Farmer Mitch, check it out.